So you beautiful people, in today's video, I'm going to be just honest with how I feel about this whole debacle that's going on right now. Now, if you didn't know, the Call of Duty community is triggered. People are triggered about exclusivity rights that Sony have for Modern Warfare. Now, if you didn't know and you've been in a bunker somewhere, Sony have an exclusivity deal so PlayStation 4 users will be able to play survival mode which is in Spec Ops, a portion of Spec Ops for one year. So you will not be able to play this game mode unless you own a PlayStation until the 1st of October 2020. And for some unknown reason, this has really got people peed off. Now, whilst I understand some of the frustrations that can be caused by console exclusivity, it's something that will always go on because it creates a competitive market. You have to make a choice as a consumer as to what you prefer. And in reality, if we really want to go there, the people who started this exclusivity stuff was actually Microsoft. Microsoft came along with their first consoles and boom, threw in as much money as they could to make it lucrative to other companies to have their stuff solely on a Microsoft console. And thus the tradition continued. Xbox 360 had exclusivity rights over Call of Duty games for several years where they had 30 days of privilege for DLC maps. Now I've always been a PlayStation owner, I have also owned Xboxes, but did it bother me in the slightest that I didn't get maps for 30 days uh, behind my Xbox counterparts? Well, in reality, no. Why? Because I owned a PlayStation and I wasn't going to play with Xbox users, so it didn't really matter to me because I was playing with my friends still. There was no division about anything. And people are going to talk about division now. Well, let's talk about it for real. We've got crossplay, and Sony were not going to allow crossplay to happen. It's, it's something that they didn't want to happen in Fortnite. It's something they did not want to happen in Call of Duty because they believed that their console was the console of choice. It was the number one choice for gamers. Now, you could take that comment with a pinch of salt if you want to. And I'm not trying to start a console war here, but from a business's perspective, just take a look at the screen right now. This is an old graph as well. This is from January. The PlayStation current numbers has sold over 100 million consoles. So why does that even matter? Well, I'll tell you why it matters. If Sony secure exclusivity in certain aspects of Call of Duty, it incentivize people to buy PlayStations. Now, that increases their sales. It's not rocket science, but the fact of the matter is Sony do not make money off every Call of Duty title sold. Sony make money off Call of Duty when Call of Duty is brought in the PlayStation Store. So it makes sense to claim an exclusivity kind of deal, but they weren't going to give up crossplay easily. Then add on top of that, that most people are playing Call of Duty on their platform. Activision were at Sony's mercy as it was. Now we've already had exclusivity whittled down to seven days. It's going to be free downloadable content for all. There's going to be cross play, cross stack collection. So it's a win irrespective of how you want to lo look at it as a Call of Duty fan, because we've had to make a small sacrifice, in my personal opinion, for a momentous gain. The thing I believe that has always divided the community isn't necessarily downloadable content. It's the division of servers. That's what's divided the community in a sense, the, the ability not to incorporate crossplay. And now that's here, this game is going to be one hell of a success. And it's a small price to pay. And the fact that 50 million pound was put on the table or 50 million dollars was put on the table from Sony for some sort of incentive from Activision for people to stick with PlayStation because they believe it's the number one console. And as much as I'm hearing people outraged, oh, this is an outrage, it's a travesty. It's just anti-gamer. Let's be real. 
It's a distinct minority of people that are going to play this particular mode. It is not the core aspect of Call of Duty that brings in the numbers. Things like Ground War are what are going to bring in the numbers. The, the traditional game modes, Domination, TDM, all those kind of modes, HQ, Search and Destroy. Now, if these were put down to exclusivity deals for 12 months, Oh yeah, I'd understand your frustration because that would be anti-gamer all day long because that is the core component of Call of Duty. For a game mode that you don't know much about because they haven't told us much about, there's a lot of assumptions being made. Oh, it's what's it called? This, that. It's already been stated several times that this is a small portion of the game. And in typical Call of Duty community fashion, it's a conspiracy theory. And if you believe this, you're a dick rider. You're an active vision rider. But let's just be realistic here. If people really have so much of a problem with Call of Duty and this exclusivity deal, and they're taking to their keyboards and insulting people and insulting me because I don't believe it's as bad as people are making out, then i got to ask one question of you. If you are so fed up of this game and this company, why do you still support the franchise by buying it year in, year out? Put your money where your mouth is and cancel your pre-order. If that's how you really feel about the franchise, because I feel like people are overreacting once again for the sake of it. It's it, This community is like no others. I love it. I love it to death, but sometimes I just roll my eyes and think, why am I even part of this nonsense? It's really, in my eyes, not a big deal. It's a non-issue. It's a non-issue for everything that's been sacrificed, for everything you have gained as a Call of Duty fan. I think you should shut up. I personally think people should shut up and just take the deal. It doesn't always work out perfectly, but that's what negotiation's about. And when people are putting 50 million down on a table, are you really telling me as a business that you would turn that down as profit? Because I wouldn't. If someone says to me, we love your product, but we want exclusivity for one year and we will pay you a, 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 a nice substantial amount of money for that, I'm all ears. I am all ears. And if that makes me a sellout, then I'm laughing all the way to the bank because people who disagree with that and wouldn't do that in their business, I'll tell you something, your business ain't gonna last long. In fact, your business will be bankrupt. And I for one am finding it really hard to believe that people are genuinely going to buy Call of Duty to play this mode over every other aspect of the game. It ain't a deal breaker for me. It's certainly not a deal breaker for me. If I was an Xbox fan, I'd be like, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Oh, so, oh, oh, I thought you were talking about TDM or you was talking about, oh, oh, nah, don't worry about that. Listen, this game is going to be a good one. And if you think that it's not going to sell well because of this exclusivity deal, then you got another thing coming. You, you are, you are naive. You are a very naive person because it's going to sell like hotcakes. And this is why playstation and sony have tried to secure this exclusivity because guess what the next generation of consoles around the corner and guess what sony learned their mistake because they didn't come forward like microsoft microsoft did with the big coin when it was the 360 versus the playstation 3 and sony suffered because of that because xbox gained so much ground on sony so much ground the first generation of their consoles done all right guess what the xbox 360 sold 80 million nearly as much nearly very nearly as much as the playstation 3 this is one of the most popular games the most sold games every single year without fail and there's a reason why businesses are thinking to themselves well hang on we got to be smart about how we invest here. And that's why there's an exclusivity deal. Microsoft could have done this, but I guarantee you, yeah, the thought, mm, Call of Duty's fell off. We don't need that anymore. 
we ain't willing to pay that money so again if it upsets you that much don't play the game don't buy the game don't support the game guys there are many buttons you can hit but a like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace